All right, we have an update for you this morning. This is on the fire at the Squealing Pig, a beloved spot there in Roxbury. Police arrested a man that they say intentionally set the pub on fire. NBC Boston's Lauren Melendez live for us outside Roxbury District Court, where that man is expected to face a judge any minute now. Lauren, good morning. Has that man faced a judge so far? No, nothing so far. Good morning to you, Colton. So I have confirmed that he ha he actually is here, 23-year-old Presida Barrowall, the man from Everett that's sort of at the center of all this. Uh, again, he's here. He has not been called for his arraignment. But when he is, we expect to try to get some idea as to what extent he was involved in this. NBC 10 investigators obtained video showing a man inside that building, that restaurant, when it was on fire, appearing to have some involvement. Uh, one thing we know for sure right now is that a lot of people in the community are confused. Witnesses specifically, though, said that they did hear and see some commotion before those flames were ignited. Take a listen. At first, I thought it was like somebody breaking into a car. And then I looked out, and the restaurant across the street had all of its windows shattered. And then the lights turned on, and somebody was trying to start a fire in there. And before then, there was just fire coming out of the windows. So this all happened late Tuesday night. This was last week, about an hour after the squealing pig closed, the raging fire literally swallowing the entire single-story bar, pushing flames even across the street, charring a vehicle at one point, charring a street sign. Surprisingly, Colton, no body was hurt and no other buildings were affected. Arson investigators, we know at that point, had been called in pretty early. And then between interviews from former employees and the witnesses I mentioned, plus video again of a man standing inside that restaurant, that ultimately led officers to arrest Barrowall. So the squealing pig this morning, it remains boarded up. Barrowall faces a slew of charges. We know one is arson with intent to damage a commercial building. We're going to see if those charges are upgraded or downgraded, whichever way it goes. We're going to have continuing coverage for you this morning once he is eventually arraigned. We are live here in front of Roxbury District Court this morning. I'm Lauren Melendez, NBC 10 Boston.